name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Christ, Eleison, Kyrie, Eleison, Kyrie, Eleison, Christ, Eleison, Kyrie, Eleison. Lord Jesus. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon who I put my, f my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by my hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. springs of salvation you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation God it is, is my Savior 
I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion. For great is your midst, is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites, as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all, what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. according to Mark. This is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. The gospel of the Lord. Don't you think Jesus already knew that he was the Father's beloved Son on whom his favor rests? 
So when the voice came from, from heaven announce, making this announcement, it was, it was really for our benefit, not for his. There's only a couple of times in the New Testament when the voice of God is heard, and it always says the same thing. Jesus is the chosen one. He is the beloved. And we are supposed to listen to him. Among the hidden lessons in these few words, there is the one that teaches us what pleases God. Up to this point in his earthly life, Jesus has done nothing extraordinary. No miracles, no great teachings, no conversions. He spent 30 years living in Nazareth, helping Joseph in the carpenter shop, doing his chores and errands for Mary, his mother. And yet, the Father's favor rests on him. The Father is pleased with him. Why? Because Jesus is doing what the Father asked of him, and he's doing it with love. We don't need to impress God with our sacrifices and our accomplishments. What he desires is a heart centered on him, seeking his will. What God wants is our friendship. Everything else is secondary. And our friendship comes when we know, love, and follow Jesus by doing and accepting everything he asks of us. God's will. Nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. When that becomes our motto, as it was in Jesus, then we will have fulfilled our vocation as God's beloved children on whom his Father re favor rests. And when we fulfill our vocation, then we find the peace and wisdom and lasting well-being that makes life worth living in the first place. This is particularly evident in the lives of the saints our brothers and sisters who reached spiritual maturity while here on earth. Many of them did remarkable uh, things. They, they worked miracles. They uh, converted hardened sinners. But many others did not. Many saints lived ordinary, hidden lives pleasing God by living their daily duties with love and sacrifice. St. Therese of Lisieux entered a French Carmelite convent when she was only 15 in 1888. For nine years, she prayed and worked and served her community. When she died, her convent sisters didn't quite know what they should mention in, in the circular letter that announced her death that was going to be sent to all the other Carmelite convents. And this indicates how unobtrusive and, and, and ordinary and, and uneventful, her daily life appeared. And yet today, she is one of the most well-known, most inspirational saints and a doctor of the church. We don't have to do extraordinary things in order to please God. 
We just have to do what God wants us to do and do it with as much love as we can muster. God is very easy to please. And as we strive to please him, we, we find the purpose of our life. We find the joy and the wisdom and the peace that comes from serving God. Jesus looks at each of us right in the eye with love and mercy and the twinkling light of friendship. He calls each of us by our name. He smiles, holds out his hand, and gives us one simple, guaranteed commandment. Come, follow me, and I will give you life. So today, let's just smile back and say, okay. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As God's adopted children, recognizing the love he holds for each of us, we have the courage and confidence to raise our needs and the needs of the whole world to his hands. For those preparing for baptism, confirmation, and first Eucharist, that they may steadfastly embrace God's call to holiness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For a conversion of heart among all who em employ terrorism, attempting to impose their political ambitions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all facing debilitating hardship and accessing the basic needs of life, that their needs may be met, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For ourselves, that as sons and daughters united to you through baptism, we may always remain faithful in living our Father's life of love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by illness, especially Linda Ronish. Ronish, that your loving presence may refresh and restore them with strength and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Frederick, Richard, Mike Bush, and Lorraine Brown, that they may now rejoice with you in the glory of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Miguel and Irene Leal and Maria Carolla, in whose memory this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for always hearing us 
and we ask that you send your Holy Spirit upon us. Give us the wisdom to seek your will for us. Give us the courage to, to do it, what you, what you ask us to do. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. sinful lives and turn to the and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And for the praise and glory of his name, for the good of all his church. Accept, O oh Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us, and by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of all, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he. Comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all who minister to us. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and St. Agnes and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And in your spirit. Show one another now a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the Lamb of God Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life.
Luther's Let them come To the water And let all who have nothing Let them come to the Lord Without money, without price Why should you pay the price Except for the Lord is the end of the Christmas season. The baptism of the Lord is the end of our Christmas celebration. So the tree is going, the nativity is going. Back to life as usual. So ordinary time, it even says here in the red, ordinary time lasts from Monday after this Sunday to the Tuesday before Lent. So we're back to green for a little bit until we start uh, with purple. You know, one of the neat things about building a church is you can uh, put things in that you like. Uh, when I built uh, the church at uh, St. Elizabeth Seton, it was a cruciform building. Uh, so, you know, you had the, the main part and then the two arms. <coughs> and uh, we had three big windows. And so uh, Jesus was back there. And so I always prayed to that window when I was saying Mass. Then Mary on this side and St. Elizabeth Seton on this side. And I put each of them, uh, Jesus especially, is uh, raising his right arm in blessing, but he's reaching out his left arm to us. And the same with Mary and uh, St. Elizabeth Seton. They're not blessing, but they're just, come on, follow us. We'll, we'll take you home. It's a beautiful, uh, I, I don't know how many people in the parish even look up to see those windows. But I know they're there. And uh, that was my message to them. Jesus uh, will invite us home to be with him. Uh, we will have a uh, graveside service for Lorraine Brown on Tuesday at 11 o'clock. It's just the family at Holy Cross. Uh, the funeral will have to wait until after things.
to settle down uh, with this uh, virus business. <coughs> we will have a memorial mass for Frederick Richard Mike Bush on Tuesday, January 19, beginning at 11 o'clock. And again, that's just family uh, to be present. Also, I would ask that you keep in your prayers, uh, Monsignors uh, Anthony Shalewski and Jeremiah O'Sullivan, who have both died from COVID. They were residents at Nazareth House uh, in Mission Valley, and evidently, as most uh, facilities, they are uh, going through a surge of COVID. So uh, they're all old people. Uh, Anthony was 91. And Jeremiah was born in 25, 95? I was never good at math, but I think it's 95. So, you know, good long life, but uh, cut short, cut short, <laughs> 95. And, and Jeremiah, I, Jeremiah and I were together in Linda Vista, my second assignment, and he was the pastor. Uh, lovely man, but in his later years, he was suffering from dementia. So uh, in, in those ways, I think of death as a blessing. Uh, the fog is lifted, and he can see once again clearly as he stands before our Lord. So please keep uh, Anthony and Jeremiah in your prayer. Let's stand in. <clears throat> Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. My friends, this Mass is now ended. Let us leave in peace to love the Lord as we serve him. Thanks be to God. Could you... If you have the readings, if you put them in the center of the church or the aisle, please. Thanks. God bless you. Sing of the Lord's goodness, Father of all wisdom. Come to him and bless his name. Mercy he has shown us, his love is forever. Faithful to the end of days. Come the you nations, sing of the Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Ring out the Lord's glory, praise Him with your music, worship Him and bless His name. Power He has willed that honor is His garment, risen from the snares of death. His word he has spoken, one word he has broken, new life he now gives to all. Come then all you nations, sing of the Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Ring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name. Riches poured on the earth, we are born from the darkness and clothed in the light. We are bathed in the glory of God. Fountain of mercy, grace flowing free, streams of salvation, spilling with love from a tree. River. Spring of our birth, flood of God's riches poured on the earth. We are born from the darkness and clothed in the light. We are bathed in the glory of God. River of glory, spring of our birth, flood of God's riches poured on the earth. We are born from the darkness and clothed in the light. We are bathed in the glory of God.
fountain of mercy, grace flowing free, streams of salvation, spilling with love from a tree. River of glory, spring of our birth, flood of God's riches, poured on the earth. We are born from the darkness and clothed in the light. We are bathed in the glory of God. 